Hey everyone, so uh, I wanted to do a quick review of Narcosis. So, I just fi finished it and I didn't have enough recording time <laughs> to actually do it at the end of the video, so I'm going to do a separate video. Uh, so, first up, it's a good game. It is mostly to do with VR, I reckon. Uh, so, in a VR, Playing with VR would be, it would be a really, really good game because of the jump scares, the way that, like, because VR immerses you in the game itself, the way that you're underwater, and the way the game is set out is completely for VR, I reckon. Uh, and because I played it without a VR, it was still good, but there are a lot of parts of it that probably even in VR would be quite bad. <laughs> And not necessarily like like really it was like just shit level design and stuff. It was just really annoying because the save system was not that good at some points, and you had to go through huge areas before you got to a next save, which I don't think is that good. I think that it, that ruins the game as well as it makes it challenging, but again, it ruins the game. To me, that is so. Yeah, so there there were the good parts. So with the story, it was, at the start, not good at all. It was not good. Uh, until, uh, I don't exactly, can't exactly remember where the woman started talking, because the only talking in the whole game is uh, a interview. Well, what it turns out to be an interview, because you don't necessarily figure that out. Uh, but yeah, so until the woman actually starts speaking, that's when the storyline actually starts coming through and starts like telling you what exactly is going on and all that kind of stuff. And the story was good. The story was like, yeah, it was good. And it, it just at the start, like the first the first video or two I did, there was like no story. I was like, I just, did I just waste 25 bucks on this game? Which I technically wasted about... 10 of those bucks, uh, so for, I should get on with money, uh, for, it's $20 USD, which is about $25, $27 AUD, uh, so I have to pay $25 to $27 for this, and I do not reckon it was worth that much at all, I reckon it was worth at least 15 bucks for me, uh, because 20, 25 to $30 is, basically half of a triple A title because triple A titles are normally sixty to a hundred. So if it's half that much, it it kinda needs to be more. I've got about three hours in the game. And yeah, that that's it. Three hours in the game. There can be there is more because there are things to collect, which is a cool cool thing about it. Uh that like the game would probably take about four probably four or five hours uh, if you knew what you were doing and uh, you could find the collectibles easily that type of thing so four probably about five hours all up to actually collect everything maybe not quite sure depending on how hard it is to find things uh, but yeah so the system the game systems were good uh, so like the oxygen it was good but at the start it was it was really weird uh, I didn't die that much like after the start but at the start basically you died because you lost your oxygen and you basically all you do is respawn a few meters back or whatever with more oxygen than you had before which I thought was really like it was good and bad uh, depending on the situation that like where the next thing was but yeah I, that that was really weird uh, for me, but throughout the rest of the game, there was it was kind of good amounts of thing, but kind of not at the same time. So that was like a perfect way up. Uh, the flares were all right; they they were good for scaring off the uh, and distracting the sea life, <laughs> uh, which was a good use of them. Uh, and I. The only other two things for controls and stuff was the movement and the uh, thrust. So thrust was the only way to get up 
or over things, like over steps, uh, which was a good idea, and it's it was something like a sprint in a way, just like long corridor thrust through it. Uh, and the, the movement system was freaking weird, but again, that was probably based on the VR, uh, because you moved your head and you moved your body at two different uh, things, so... Yeah, it, it was really weird, especially when you're like me, and I play this probably once or twice a week to record it, and I've got all these other games to play, uh, and you just don't get used to it. As soon as you jump in, you're like, oh my god, this is weird. Uh, so yeah, uh, graphics, they were good. They were they were alright. Uh, you didn't really see the people, so like if the person had a re really detailed face, you couldn't really tell sometimes. Uh, so, like, they were basing it off the people, uh, from the story, uh, which was a good idea, and it did work with a lot of them, uh, but, yeah, so the rest of it, that was good, the, um, the coral and, like, the, uh, what is it, it's not, I just, underwater rocks, I, I don't think it was coral exactly, but all of it looked really good, uh, even though you're at the complete frickin' depths of the ocean, and there's no light at all, it still looked really good, especially the ones that actually glowed, and it, that looked really pretty, and stuff like that. There was just one problem with, uh, there's a part in the game where you are in a poppy field. That submarine has the worst graphics in the whole game. It's like they didn't even try. To be completely honest, it is like they did not, like, the developers didn't try, like, with the textures and stuff. While, like, the tree and the, the poppies and that type of stuff in a different section of that level, they were good. They looked good. So that was weird. Uh, but yeah, so graphics were good. The story was good after um, it actually started coming through. Uh, controls were interesting. They were unique uh, in a way. Uh, and definitely good for VR. That's three things. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the monsters were good. It's they were good, definitely good for the um, the way you went through the game. Like the crabs, you couldn't go near them, uh, or they'd kill you straight off. You could actually fight back with some of them, uh, with some like fish and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, so. Yeah, that, that's all I really need to say. Game, it, yeah, as I said, overall, it's good. Not worth the price, because, obviously, Australians need to pay more, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, not worth the price, but it's. I still reckon it's a good game for you guys to get. If you have a spare four hours of your time to play, it's good. Apart from the, uh, the, the worst part of the game was... Just some levels were not that good. They were just excruciating with excruciatingly painful because of how uh, how they were set out in a way. They weren't I'm trying to think of like how to say it properly, but like it was just not that good at all. And yeah, I just it, like, I'm pretty sure other YouTubers would have hated the same parts, because uh, you have no idea where you're going. Uh, yeah, there are some parts where you have no idea where you're going, especially the part where uh, you crash your sh your submarine with the other submarine, uh, and you have no idea where to go at all. So, yeah, that, that was really stupid, and I spent probably about 30 minutes just walking around doing nothing, and then I found a way to go, but that didn't actually lead anywhere anyway, so, again, really stupid. Uh, but apart from those sections of the game that were not that good, there were the normal parts, which were good, they were, like, like interesting, walking around, seeing the wildlife, seeing all the dead bodies of your colleagues, uh, and then there were the parts with insanity which was really good and really well done. There was like, if I think back over everything, I reckon every every little part of those insanity parts, I'm going to call them, were different. All the jump scares were different. That was really good. So, 
yeah, that was the good part of the game. It's just those other those bad sections really really ruined the game, and they just, it just feels like a waste of my time. Uh, so that's probably where those hours went into. So it's probably two to three hour game if you don't get stuck trying to find out where you want wanting to go. Uh, so yeah, other than that, why well, actually there's nothing else for that. So yeah, that's my. Sh Ten minute review on the game, uh, and yeah. So if you guys are interested in this game, uh, and you're still not quite sure after you've uh, watched this review, then you can check out. Uh, I'll leave a link to the playlist of this game. Plus, this will be in the playlist as well. Uh, so you could probably not check the whole game out, but check probably the first level uh, or two, like the first few levels of the game. See what it looks like and stuff, and it, that just doesn't have that much story to it. Everything after the first two episodes, I think, has complete story throughout it. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that uh, little review, and I'll leave the link in the description below uh, for the game. As I said, it's $20 USD, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.